determined to drastically reducing the challenges encountered by small farm holders who were affected by the adverse effect of the dreaded COVID-19 pandemic. Oya State Government has completed a two-day orientation and training for its desk and facilitators officials across the 33 local government areas of the state. Authorities there, with the support of the World Bank, trained no fewer than 66 personnel comprising the desk and facilitators officials across all its local government areas with the aim to scale up the intervention that will help the farmers to increase food production in the state. Charging the trainees at the commencement of the program that was held at the Oyo State Agribusiness Development Agency, OISADA headquarters, Shaki, the Director General of OISADA, who also doubles as the Executive Advisor to Governor Makinde on agribusiness, Debo Akande, stressed that the beneficiaries need to understand that they are privileged to have been selected for the program. Akande, in his opening remarks via Zoom, noted that the Nigeria COVID-19 Action Recovery and Economic Stimulus NKS program is an Oyo State Government and World Bank assisted project with the objective to enhance food supply chain. The cash transfer units transfer uh, money to poor and vulnerable households in the state. The result area two is catering for small older farmers who are affected with uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So the federal government is uh, making this effort to provide a kind of support to them in the area of uh, crops. Uh, this training, it really prepares us uh, ahead of the times we're going to meet on the field. Because if you are not here, you won't be able to uh, participate fully. You won't be able to know what to do uh, about this program if you are not here. So the, this uh, training really uh, fortify us uh, to be able to face the tax on the field and how to prepare the documentation and what have you on this uh, NCARES uh, program. The NCARES program is a laudable project and I want to thank the state government for this opportunity because it's going to help reach out to farmers especially those affected by the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So it's a way to reach out to them and uh, ensure they get uh, what I will call a mitigating measure. Furthermore, Akade acknowledged the Oyo State Government, who he emphasized had previously intervened before the federal government by supporting smallholder farmers with agricultural inputs as palliatives to cushion the effects of COVID-19 since year 2020.